Hey, I'm Melinda. I'm an indie fantasy author, and I'm that author who mentioned about bootstrapping. Uh, I've gotten this question a couple of times on podcasts, and it'll stems back from a post that I made in a group. Um, I think this was like a couple of months ago, and there was some interest, but like I'm not I'm not a teacher. I'm not somebody who's looking to sell any sort of services or I'm just, I love writing books, but I've seen a lot of posts lately of authors who are just very upset that they've spent thousands and thousands on a book that didn't, it didn't earn out, that didn't earn anywhere near what they spent. And it's, and it breaks my heart every time I see it because indie publishing is, doesn't have to be that way. I mean, if you have $10,000 to spend on a book, go for it. But if all you have is $10, then do that. And there are ways that you can publish a really great high quality book without having to go into debt. And that's what bootstrapping is. And the basic steps is you take what you have, which is the money that's come in, and you add up all of your expenses and you minus that out. And whatever number you are left with, that is what you can spend on your book. And you keep that number in front of you, you check it before you do anything, and you make sure that you don't go past that number. And that's, it, it's a really big help. So that's sort of the basics. I can talk a bit more on it, but um, I just wanted to put that out there because I've seen so many people saying that they're going to quit publishing because they can't afford it, they can't keep doing it, and it shouldn't have to be that way. You don't need thousands and thousands of dollars to publish a book. There are lots of ways that you can publish and market your book without going deep into debt.